Make a wish like always does like the coolest things. It's a blessing to me. It's really, it's it's just, it's let it's it's letting me do what my dreams are. I've written four books and they're all true. So I haven't written any fiction. The first set of books have been so fun to write. And the most fun part for me is sharing. What's your title, Narav? Mine is called Wild Card. It's a mystery novel, which I've written like 40 pages so far. It's amazing. 40 pages is a lot of pages. Yeah. There's a kid and he lives with this ape who knows sign language Uh uh-huh and i love it already so like he goes he finds a way to get into school like without having parents because like he (laughs) doesn't know much about his parents then he finds like a kid detective and the kid and somebody asks him to find like a missing a, a missing kid so there's like a group of different people who made friends and they're all trying to like find out what happened so it's like adventure and it's also a mystery and different things. How does the ape who does sign language figure into it? Uh, well, the ape is like um, the main character who's Silvis, who's the boy without parents. Um, the ape is like, um, he takes care of the ape and the ape is also very naughty. That's cool. And Apu, tell me about your book. Um, my book is about a boy and it's he's really scared and shy and um he's not like other people he's really different and then there's this new kid who's really popular um suddenly and and but she like there's a secret about her and so it's about how they become friends and she helps him overcome his fears Hmm. i actually finished my book so yeah, for Christmas, my present was my Make-A-Wish book. So you had it printed up and you gave it to people? I actually just got the book. So... Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Wow, look at the cover. I love it. Thank you. Johnny's big moment. Yeah. yeah it's really cool. Did they tell you that I have a kid's book coming out? I've never written a children's book, like an illustrated children's book. Oh, yeah, I heard about your book, Hello World, but I didn't know what it was about. Yeah, Yeah. it's about asking questions. Oh. Yeah. Because have you ever heard of that book by Dr. Seuss, Oh, The Places You Will Go? I was sort of questioning in my book because I was thinking it's more, Oh, The People You Will Know. Because that's what's mattered to me the most in terms of feeling happy and feeling productive and feeling like I have ways I can contribute. So that's what Hello World's really about is it's all about the people, but how will you know them? You'll ask questions. So it's just yeah. all these different questions that you could ask a person. Um, I had a question. Has it come out yet? Cause I would love to read it one year. I would love for you to read it. It comes out on April 20th. So what part of writing do you like? Like, do you like talking about the setting? Do you like, like playing out action? Do you like dialogue? I usually like, like showing the action, like what happened, but I also like adding dialogue. So like the reader can understand what's happening and um, understand like um, the character's thoughts and feelings. Yeah, I love dialogue. I love reading dialogue. Like I, I've noticed myself as a fiction reader, that I can't, I feel so impatient in the early pages. I just want to hear people talk because I feel like it's so telling. Dialogue is something I like the most. And I also like description about where the person is so I know what is happening around them. I mean, I sort of feel like sometimes that if you build the scene correctly, and thoroughly, and the reader really starts to believe that it's true, even though they know that it's not true, even though they know it's just a made-up story, which is so cool, isn't it? Isn't that like a weird thing about reading and writing? 
that you're yeah. just making things yeah. up and that you, but you haven't, like I have real emotions when I'm reading made up stories. Like I cry, I laugh, I'm mad, I'm stressed out. I want somebody to get in trouble or get caught. Like, yeah, sometimes I up. like, I was just reading and then sometimes I feel like, um, I feel like so into the book. I'm like, why doesn't this happen? Why yeah. doesn't this happen here? And there? Yeah, sometimes for me too, like when I'm like really into the book, like sometimes I disagree with like something that happened. I was like, that shouldn't have happened. Like that doesn't seem as interesting to me. Or sometimes I really agree. I was like, oh yeah, that's really cool. And sometimes like um, when I was in third grade, my as my teacher said, it's called being in the zone. Like when you like are really interested in the book, like so like you feel like you're in the book or like what's happening is real is really is really happening and you really have like feelings of what's going on it's interesting that idea about being in the zone and like falling into the book but the other thing that's interesting that you said is about disagreeing with the author and you both said it up who you said like why is that happening it shouldn't be like that and that is really thinking like a writer like whenever I'm reading, unless it's so good that, that I, I, I lose track of myself entirely, like I almost don't even exist. I'm just inside this made up world. I am, I do have like a little third eye kind of looking at the story like a writer would and deciding, do I think that was the best move? Do I think he should have bumped into her in the hallway like that? Do I think the teacher should have yelled at them? Do I think that the that he should have forgotten his backpack there. Like, and that, all that work that you're doing intellectually in your mind when you're reading will totally, totally help you be a better writer. So um, why did you become an author and how did your career start? I always wanted to be a writer since I was your age, just like you. Then I tried to write a book in my 20s and I worked on it like that for a little while, but I had a day job and I just kind of petered out and I couldn't convince myself that it would really ever happen. So then it started to seem kind of silly. And then I was, um, I had, was just gotten married and I had two kids and I found a lump and I got diagnosed with cancer and I was in chemotherapy. And then right after I started chemotherapy, my dad started chemotherapy. And I really, really loved my dad. He's like the best person I ever knew. That must and, be a bit hard. Yeah, so then I wrote that story of my dad and I being sick at the same time. And that's the story that became the first book. And that, oh, and that so that's how I really got going. How's your health right now? Right now, I'm doing good. I've, it's been like a couple of uh, years since I had um, my treatment ended. And so I'm doing really good. I'm back to school, like, of course, like online school. How about you, Nirav? How is your health? Uh, I'm doing fine. Um, my treatment ended in um, early November, and I'm feeling much better now. Um, my hair is all back because my hair fell off after chemo, but it's re it recently grew back like a few months ago. Congratulations, Nara, for finishing your treatment. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, boy, I bet that feels good. Do you have like any extra tips on how like to be a good author? Do what you like doing. Do not make yourself do things just as an exercise, just because someone else suggested that maybe you should do it that way. Like follow the thing that you actually like that makes you want to write. Yeah, like even if you're not very good at it yet or uh, like think yes. you can do better, you should still, yes. still do it. Don't give up. 100%. Don't panic and switch gears and try writing a different thing or a different way. Like just stick with it. Like follow your heart, basically. Yeah. Um, I love talking to you guys. You're so smart. Thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> Oh, thank you for yours. Thank you for yours. Come on. Thanks for the advice.